All right, still to come on this edition of uh, Washington Watch, we're going to be joined by South Carolina Congressman Ralph Norman. We're also going to be, as I mentioned on the way out, we're going to be talking to Indiana Congressman Jim Banks about the uh, Russian bounties put on U.S. troops. We're going to be talking about that. But now, uh, you know, we started talking about China's distaste for freedom and their uh, actions against Hong Kong. Uh, But the, the atrocities... Of China, they certainly don't stop there. A new report, uh, this is an AP report, shows that China is forcing birth control in also in the form of abortions, forced abortion, forced sterilization on Uyghur women women to curb the population uh, in um, the Sinjar region. The um, communist regime abuses um, against the group of Muslims is, is, I mean, it's just, we're seeing, we were just talking about it just a moment ago, about the forced labor, um, the, taking them around the country, using them. They're in these um, re-education camps, concentration camps. And, and now, and, and we've even heard of reports of, uh, of uh, organ harvesting. Now we're hearing these reports of forced abortions, forced sterilizations. Joining me now to talk about this is Nuri Turkle. He's a commissioner on the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom, also chairman of the board of the Uyghur Human Rights Project. Uh, Commissioner Turkle, welcome to Washington Watch. Thank you very much, Tony. Uh, I assume that this AP report is not a surprise to you. No, not at all. Um, the Uyghur people have been uh, uh, crying out loud for international uh, support uh, and uh, asking for the for the international community, particularly those of us who are in the uh, free societies, to to pay attention to the Uyghur grievances um, in the last 20, 30 years. The forced abortion uh, sterilization issue was part of the Uyghur life from the very beginning. Uh, much like here in the United States, uh, the Uyghur people don't like the government to interfere with their private life, uh, how many kids they conceive, conceive, and how to conceive, and how many kids that they would like to conceive. So this is uh, for the Uyghur people. Uh, Uyghur people generally very conservative and traditional. Um, it's between uh, their, uh, it's a spousal matter, personal choice, and also it's God's gift. So they have rejected this notion for a long time that the government is interfering, uh, causing Uyghur women to suffer uh, physical harm, and now it's psychological harm uh, with the possible imprisonment in the concentration camps. So uh, when you look at the, the, uh, the actions as well as the policy objectives being imposed upon the Uyghur people by the Chinese Communist Party, uh, it is evident that they wanted to get rid of this population uh, that has centuries-old ethno-traditional uh, uh, life, uh, culture, uh, history, uh, and contribution to the civilization. So in this uh, AP report, which is quite extensive, the, the forced uh, birth control, um, injection of drugs and other devices into these women, uh, they're also, as you mentioned, in these, uh, they're imprisoned in some cases for having too many children. If they exceed the limit, they're imprisoned. Their children are taken away from them. Uh, th- this is, um, as you said, it, it is a trying to eradicate an entire ethnic group, and the world is watching. And, uh, and I'm grateful that we have an administration here in the United States that uh, is, is bringing attention to this. But let me ask you, Commissioner Turkle, the plight of the Uyghurs, is it improving or do we see the conditions worsening? Um, The Uyghur people have been suffering as long as I have been breathing. Uh, Why do I say this? Uh, I was born in captivity at the uh, the height of the Cultural Revolution myself. Uh, My mother was uh, taken in when she was about six months pregnant with me. Uh, I was born in in the re-education camp and released uh, several months afterwards. Um, I grew up watching how brutal uh, the communist regime has been to my people or the others. Um, In in the last two years, uh, last two, three years in particular, the situation has gotten worse. Uh, The Chinese government has been using its diplomatic and economic influence around the world to buy out silence uh, from uh, countries, uh, particularly in Europe, 
that's supposed to speak out, much like this administration has in the uh, particularly since 2017. But the 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 uh, the international community should not let the Chinese to test the conscience of the people who appreciates and loves freedom. Um, I am personally very grateful um, that uh, the Trump administration has been uh, forceful, um, publicly, uh, uh, legislated, uh, legislatively, and in, in, through the executive decision. Uh, just to give you one example, uh, uh, back in 2018, uh, Vice President Mike, uh, Mike Pence had delivered a speech on China and gave a paragraph uh, for the Uyghur suffering. And uh, Secretary Pompeo has been speaking out uh, repeatedly and regularly on the atrocities being committed against Uyghur people. I call on the other countries, uh, particularly traditional U.S. allies, to get on the right side of the history. Uh, and also I, I call on our government and others to revisit their relationship, economic and diplomatic relationship with communist China that is committing genocide in the daylight. Uh, it is simply unconscionable to go on business as usual. Yeah, especially as we have more and more information that is coming out of China that details what is actually happening. Uh, we're almost out of time, uh, Nuri, but one quick question. Are there other ethnic groups or religious groups that are also suffering under the communists there in China? Um, the, uh, the Chinese Christian community needs, uh, deserves attention. The uh, Uyghur Islam and Chinese Christian uh, community have been targeted by the Chinese government as a Western religion. Uh, the Chinese government perceives uh, Christians and Muslims in China as a disloyal group of people that threatens uh, the Communist Party's existence and spread of their ideological uh, methods. Uh, Commissioner Turkle, I want to thank you for joining us today and, uh, and, and thank you for uh, your continued work on behalf of uh, religious freedom, including on behalf of the Uyghur people. Thank you very much for having me on your show.